and Iroko has fallen. Hey! Mm. The Igwe has gone to meet his ancestors. Hey! hey! What is this? What is this? High Chief Mwemena To be killed like a dog in Mbwede No, this, 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 this is a tragedy. This, this is unacceptable. I mean, how could such a... Oh my God. What, what? When did this kind of thing start happening here? My people, this tussle has gone on for too long. In fact, too long that we have decided to put a stop to it today. Mbede deserves a sitting king. We cannot continue to, to mess around. That is why our neighboring communities are making a caricature of ourselves. You see, we the kingmakers consider what is happening now as an abomination. Our neighboring communities do not even have the kind of pedigree that we have. A pedigree that was bequeathed to us by our ancestors. Our ancestors that must be turning in their graves now mm. because of the kind of problem we have in our community. Mm. Please let us find a solution to this problem. Yes. One way or the other. Mbwe they must. We the kingmakers emphasize the word must be free of this unending dispute. And that is why we, the kingmakers, <clears throat> have taken a decision after thorough deliberation to appoint a regent. What? Beva! Regent? Beva! A regent on the referred stool of Mbedeland. Now, that is an aberration, a blatant abomination. It is a misrepresentation of the will of the revered gods of Mbeteland. The stool is not for any stopgap arrangement. Listen, I insist that the kingmakers do what they all know. I mean, what Mbede knows as the appropriate thing. And crown me, Ozi Chuku, as the god defined God ordained Igwe of Umbede land forthwith. Ozichuku <laughs> hey, Igwe Ozichuku. We the entire kingmakers are still consulting with the uh, gods of Umbede land. Um we have not heard from them. They have not spoken. And I cannot do anything on sentiments. Sentiments? Huh? You call doing the only thing that easily comes to mind in this circumstance. Sentiments? Oh, oh. I can see that you are behind this whole region scheme. You see, 
You are trying to use your usual cunning ways to force yourself on Umbede land as the regent. Ozichuku, how can you say such a thing? How can you label such a thing on me? Um, how can you? Um, Prince Ozichuku. Don't. Don't you ever, ever call my name again. I know your stand on this issue. You think the entire Umbede does not know of your moonlight visits to Akachuku's house. Don't forget that struggling eyes, stuck, struggling legs. So hold your peace. How am I sure that this whole regent idea is not a ploy to smuggle Akachuku onto the stool through a prearranged path? Prince Once again, we are back to dwell with that. But I ask, why is it that we always have sand poured in any plan we prefer to solve this lingering problem? Why? Eh? Prince Akachuku, you've been keeping so quiet. You have not said anything. Please, let us share your own opinion. My opinion on this issue does not matter. Yeah, and I tell you why. You are the kingmakers ordained by the gods of our land to oversee matters affecting our land. Part of which is appointing an igwe for our vacant traditional stool. I will not go against whatever the gods decide. Not me. I. Prince Akajuku. Mm -mm. I will not do that. Whoever you say is going to be the Igwe, becomes the Igwe, I will accept your verdict because it has a stamp of finality to it. That is my opinion. <laughs> Very, very, very well said, like a true prince of Mbede land. Exactly. You can now see how a thoroughbred prince of Mbede land conducts himself. Oswame! 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 I <laughs> 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 Ozi Chukwu, I know that you did this. Why you have chosen to do this, I don't know. But if you think you are going to get away with it, you don't know me, Ozi Chukwu. You don't know me. I mean, just, 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 just look at me, man. Let's go. Tender to the throat of Mbede land. What are you doing here? You've come to sympathize with the family of the man you murdered in cold blood purely for suggesting an arrangement that does not favor your ambition. You killed him. And now you have come to sympathize. Get back, hypocrite. Get out from here. I'll catch you, 
look into my eyes. I am Ozijuku. You keep taunting me with your nonsense. And I swear, I will shorten your lifespan on the face of the earth. Delude yourself! <laughs> Just know that no one is fooled but you. You are using the little disagreement between him and me as an excuse to rope his murder around my neck. I swear by all the deities of Umbideland, that rope will hang you first. Get back. Get away from here before the gods strike you dead. I tell you what you don't know. The blood of the man you murdered is cry for your own blood. The blood of this man is crying for your life. And you're here pretending to sympathize with his family. Go home. Go before the gods strike you dead. I'm telling you an arrangement that you must have sponsored. <laughs> You dare me, and you dare the gods of our land. You challenge me, and you challenge the gods. Why? I dine with the gods. I talk with the gods. I speak with the gods. And when I ask them to work their work, and I say, go home. Go home before the gods of when they strike you dead. Go! We shall see. Anyway. I am not here for war. I am here to pay the Anu my last respects. Brother has been defied. The gods are angry. I won. If you have a hand in the murder of the high chief, come out here and confess. Come and confess. Yes. <laughs> when the gods render their judgment. It will be too late to plead for mercy. I'll give you one opportunity, one more chance to come and confess. So everyone is innocent. Everyone is innocent. All right. Then we shall all wait for the gods to expose the actual murderer of the chief. Wise one, please tell us, what did the gods say? Tell us. Who murdered our high chief so that we can murder that person here immediately? We want our revenge. Wise one, please tell us who is the murderer. Speak to us, wise one. The people want to hear the voice of the God. The gods. The gods.
gods. The gods are not definite on the actual mother of the chief. Chief priest, your voice is trembling and your hands are shaky. Are you sure you are telling him the truth? Are you? Prince Akachuku. I cannot mislead my people. The gods have not spoken. I'll wait for them to speak. Did the gods ask you to obscure the truth? I'm asking you, Chief Priest. Prince Akachuku, the ways of men are not the ways of the gods. They have not spoken. We shall all wait for them to reveal the actual murderer of the world. Odi Chukwu, I know you are behind all this conspiracy. First you kill the high chief. Then you corrupt the chief priest. I take exception to that. You murderer. You killed the Onowu. Yes, you did. You are the one. You are the one stage managing everything to achieve a preconceived but publicly acknowledged objective. You underrate me. You underestimate me. You will only ascend that throne over my dead body. I like the way you talk. Take exceptions to all sorts of things. But you know that I know that the entire Mwede knows that you are behind all this. All for a throne that does not even belong to you. No. I'm living. No, wise one. You cannot live until the gods speak. Even if it means I was staying here for days. My people, have I spoken your mind? Yes, you have. Yes. From all indications, we're all going to be here. We're all going to live here. We're all going to die here. So we shall stay until the gods speak. <laughs> Prince Akachuku, the elects of the gods on spiritual matters cannot be detected to. I see. You cannot be dictated to. <laughs> you cannot be dictated to. Huh? You cannot be dictated to. Now you know you can be dictated.
up and get out of the road. I said, get out of Come on, get up. I want to speak with the prince. Speak with the prince? Did I hear him just say, speak with the prince? So you had, which means you can use those two, those things by the side of your head for what they are supposed for. Congratulations. You dirty madman! We will kick out the insanity that, that disturbs you today, idiot! Alright, alright, it's okay. I'm on me here, get out of my way. He knows my name. He knows my name. He calls me by my name. Good. Our prince knows my name. Now that you have achieved your aim of letting everybody here know that I know your name, I think your madness can now be managed. That's the consolation. Get out of my way. I have an appointment to keep. Our prince, do you know the difference between a hawk and a vulture. You want to try me? Of course I do. A vulture is a scavenger, but a hawk is a predator. So, what are you, Prince Akachuku? I am a predator. The worst type you can ever imagine. And if you remain here blocking my way, you will know why I am a predator. <laughs> people suspect is behind the murder of the high chief um um you see yeah, no, no, please please don't patronize me i want a straight answer who do they think did it simple well they said it not that it matters but they said it that you did it you see, they base their nonsensical conclusion on the talk about town that you openly resisted the Regency idea, accusing Mwemele of planning to ascend the throne of Mwede through the back door. Hmm. I see. Now the man is dead. The veritable story of the singing night bird and the dead child the morning after. Um, majority of them also believe in Aka's right of succession to the throne. That's the more reason. We move fast to do whatever it takes to achieve our objective, which is to crown you the next Igwe. Uh, you see, uh, speed is of essence, and the task ahead is of quiet daunting and the death of women. Hmm. The gods know that I did not order anyone. Neither did I lay a finger on that old man. The whole thing befuddles the mind. It seems there is an orchestrated attempt aimed at making me look bad to the people. Not just that. You see, the situation between you 
and Aka is worse as we speak. With the elimination of uh, Mwemena and the death of the chief priest, I, I... Okay. What does our tradition recommend in situations like this concerning the Igwe sheep stool? Eh, the tradition empowers the kingmakers hmm, to choose a fifth member before vote is cast in an important issue. And uh, the, the, the high chief is allowed to vote on a decision only when there is a tie. I see. What about the chief priest? Can the king make us bypass his presence and reach a consensus on who should be the next Igwe? Hmm. The answer to that is yes and no. Yes, we can bypass the chief priest. The chief priest can be changed. The most important thing is that whoever that we become the next Iwe must be the exclusive preserve of the gods. Yes, 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 yes. The gods. Mm, the gods. The gods will make the choice. I think I just have to do something about the gods. You have to must do something. Mm. Uh, come, come, come. Uh. How are you two young men of Mbede doing this evening? We are doing very well, sir. Uh, thank you for asking. You don't have to mention. I guess it's my responsibility finding out how my own people are doing. Mm? And um, how is Mbede this evening? Mede is very fine. Everybody is cool, my friends. You know, the two of you are among the most enterprising young men we have in Mede. So, when are you going to come to my office so we get to know ourselves better? Hey, hey. I'll bring him to the office, my friend. Um, why don't we make next week? Hmm? Next week? Next week. Next week. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I'll be expecting you people next week. By the way, let me allow you to enjoy your evening like every other young man would at this time of the evening in Mbede. Hmm? <coughs> and make sure you sleep in your houses. My friends will sleep in the house. Don't over enjoy yourself. Until then. <coughs> Is it by force to become somebody's friend? I still stand my ground. I will never have anything to do with that man. Me. Never. Will you cool down in your phone? You don't know what tomorrow will bring. That man is the first to reckon with. Just have him as an option and you keep it at the lower shape of your mind. No. That's just it. Not One me. day you will need him. I say not me. Yes, yeah, go. Me, 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 me with that it's man. I will not know him. Exactly. I... Good afternoon, my lady. Which car in particular would my lady prefer to use today? Emeka, what's the meaning of this? Is this the new madness your boss has introduced here? My prince orders that my lady do not enter the carport. And for what reason? Or reasons 
He asked you to give me. When I ask, why did you order? Security reasons, my lady. My prince orders that any car you choose from outing to be communicated to the guards before you step out of the house. This will enable the guards to carry out a thorough security sweep on the car. That way, your security is guaranteed. Now you listen to me. Tell your prince that I do not need his or your security guarantee to move around in Bidi. The God I serve is my security. So you talks should not bother about me. And I don't want you to do anything for me. So you get out of my way. I'm sorry, my lady. Others are others. You mean you will not allow me to have access to my own car? Because of some foolish orders you must abide by? Is that what you're saying to me? I thought I told you to wait for me. And what is going on? Some instructions. From? Your father left an instruction that I'm barred from using my own car unless I send what out first. I think you should ask Emeka here. He will explain to you later. Emeka, what is this happening? My prince, I'm acting within the orders laid down by your father, the crown prince. You're following orders. Are you trying to tell me that if my father asks you to cock that gun and shoot my mother, you're going to pull the fucking trigger? And because that's what you're trying to tell me. Only the name of your following orders. My prince, orders are meant to be followed and obeyed. Orders are meant to be followed and obeyed. What are going to happen? I want to tell you to stop me while I drive out. Others are meant to be followed and obeyed. Mika, <laughs> you're cocking a gun at me. Hey, Mika. Hey, Mika, you. I see that you're in a terrible hurry, right? Yes, sir. So I'll just give a check to you so you can go. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate you helping me. God will bless you. Well, old successful people like us have no choice but to help young men like you to grow and to assist elderly people in the village so they can keep keeping on. Hmm? It's all right. <coughs> just a minute. Um, have this check. Today is 17th, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. sit down and let's have a drink. Uh, sir, I appreciate you wanting me to drink with you. But please, I have to rush up to someone and drink with you. You young man, you are already in a hurry. You want to go and invest it immediately so it begins to yield dividends, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, we need to work hard to us to be like mentors like you tomorrow. Uh, mentor? Mm. I'm impressed. You consider me a mentor. Thank you very much. It's all right, you can go now. Thank you very much. Yeah.
But do not be afraid. You shall be the next king of Mbwe, the kingdom. Go and get ready for your coronation. But the situation has gotten dire. The high chief and the chief priest are both dead. The high chief will be replaced. The great Imagudu will send the chief priest to the king makers who will turn the situation in your favor. Do not be afraid. Your fate has already been sealed. But how do we make Akachuku to conform to the choice of the gods without him raising the expected dust as he surely will? Knowing that he was skimmed out of the throne. Has the great Imogudu ever let you down before? No, your highness. Yeah. Get ready for your coronation. The great Imogu will take care of Akachuku. As for now, you must do as the great Imogu directs. Imogu! Jovo, you have some real roots here. I just brought them. I just brought this one. They just came in, so... They are moving, sure. Man, good news. Yeah. What is it? Prince Akachuku kept his promise. I got the money. Ah! My brother, congratulations. He even added a little extra. He says that one is a gift. His own contribution to my upcoming marriage ceremony. Yeah. And meanwhile, he agrees to be 5% interest rate on the main loan. Could you imagine that? I never knew that people can be this nice. That man is so nice, huh? Eh? Yeah, truly, he is. Mm. If not for that, it's over ambitious. This is true of your brother. I don't even like them. My brother, listen. We are businessmen. Yeah? Yeah. Good. We should be talking about business. Huh? Let's talk about business. Leave those brothers alone. The two contestants, they are brothers. Soon enough, they will settle their scores. Yeah? Leave them alone, okay? But Mbe the sofas. My brother Mbe the sofas all this thing. Again. <laughs> we should be talking about how many containers are coming into the country. Eh? That is what we should be talking about now. Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course, you're right. You see, uh, what happened is that uh, uh, let's discuss this thing over some bottles later in the day. Maybe at the new wine bar. Bam! How do you see that? Uh -huh. Mother, you are <laughs> after all we've been through in life, you're not being fair to me. Or else, how could you leave instructions on the use of the kind of home with your talks? I reserve the right to protect my family, whether they think they like it or not, whether they think they deserve it or not, it is purely immaterial. Protecting my family is my duty, and I will not shake that responsibility no matter what happens. And Father, when will you stop humiliating my mother? In presence of those talks. It was not intended to humiliate your mother. It was intended for the good and protection of the family. I find that insulting. Don't find it insulting, honey. Listen to me. Whenever you feel like using any of the cars in Akajiku's fleet, comply with the directives and the car is yours. Dad, please rescind that instruction. Now, so why do you always antagonize me? Why? Because you don't treat me like your son. And I will leave this house if you don't treat me like your son. Mm-hmm. Did you see what you have done? Mm -hmm. See what you have done to poor little innocent Nonsu. If you had told him who his real father is, would have avoided all this misunderstanding, all these arguments. We would have. Akachuku, 
your constant insinuation over the paternity of Nonso and Ifani are beginning to bother me. Good. Then why don't they obey me and respect me like their older brothers overseas do? Why? By the way, Nonso, why is it that you take delight in opposing me in whatever I do? Why? That because you're not fighting for me. You're not even fighting for my siblings. You're protecting your personal interest. Mm. That's what you think. Right? Okay. Go to your room. Take your mother along with you. Give me some chance to think. Come on. God forgive you. Well, I'll entreat God to forgive you first for turning my children against me. I did not turn them against you. You did. They don't just understand why you are the way you are. And they chose not to follow your example. And I thank God for it. Now you're beginning to provide me with some justification for omitting them in my will. <laughs> surprised. I am not even disappointed. I am suggesting you go into your room. Take your mother along with you. Continue with the conspiracy there. But give me time to think. I think I deserve it. <laughs> May the gods endorse and bless our initiatives. Men with the land have total peace from our efforts. May the gods protect us. Yes, Give us wisdom as key makers, as leaders, to bestow the ancient crown of Mumbai the land on the rightful heir to the throne. Yes, who is the senior prince, which we all know. Yes. You are not saying this, eh? Is there, is there? <laughs> well, <laughs> the issue of who becomes the next Igwe of Umbede land should not be drawn at one into unnecessary partisanship. Unnecessary and distorted partisanship will not augur well for our people, most especially coming from us, elders and kingmakers of Umbede. Please. Well, um, I stand with my brother. Abu. We, as the kingmakers, should be seen to be strongly doing the right thing and moving towards the right direction. Madam. We know and appreciate our tradition, mm. a tradition that was bequeathed to us by the people of the ages. But instead of doing the right thing, mm. we allow ourselves to be timid and they caught in the web of uh, intrigue. What is this right direction? And both step Akachuku wants the kingmakers to follow through. That is exactly what is wrong with Mbede. There you go again. Oh, why are you dragging the name of the contestant into a discussion we are holding here? Oh. You want to show that you have brought me over? Oh. Yes. You see, you were talking about a non-partisanship. But it is your cohort and you that Ozichuku has been using to infiltrate the, 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 the Kimekas Council. Enough. Huh? Enough. Enough what? I said enough. I will not sit here and listen to elders and Kimekas of Umbade land argue as drunks in a train like bar. This is why this case have lasted so long. I won. The gods are watching. The gods are listening. 
So, advice for caution. Caution in all we do. Caution in all we say. Caution. All the same. I will. I will not miss to say that I take an exception to calling me cohort of Madabuchi. I demand an apology. I demand an apology. What apology? Is that not what you are? Huh? If I talk with my, 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 my trousers disappear. Okay. Well, uh, we announced that we have formally and officially invited Chief Nochi to join and the elders council. Nochi. <clears throat> chief uh, Onyajulam, as a ranking chief in this kingdom, I demand that I have the right and the authority to know who that person is going to be or will be. Thank you. Uh, yes. Speak. Speak up, speak. What is it? That's how all you know. Cause confusion, speak and cause confusion wherever you sit your feet. That's your way. Oh, yeah, Jiram. Warn him. Warn him, warn him. I warn him, I warn him after, not now. I warn Ajibu. him after the meeting. Ajebu, Ajebu, don't say anything. Just remind me where I was before these elements of uh, confusion. Trip. <laughs> yes, you were talking about Nochiri. You were talking about Nochiri. Who is Nochiri? Does it Nochiri know the situation that uh, Mbede is in now? Does he know that? Does he know the people who are contestants? Is he for, is he from our place? Yeah? Who is he? You are talking about Nochiri. Let me tell you, you cannot succeed in forcing him into the this uh, this uh, the, the, the chemicals council. Exactly. We must know everything about him. Stop it! Stop what? Stop this way you are going. It's not the right way. It has never been done, and it will never happen. Stop what? Stop eh? what? Stop what? Eh? Stop what? Huh? The chief we want to smuggle into the kingmakers council has a right to answer the only reasonable question that has been asked here. Bam. I mean, I mean, Abu has a right. To ask him any question he deems fit eh? that he should answer before being member, uh, made a member of the uh, uh, Kingmaker's King Council. Maker's Council. Yes. Ah. I disagree with you. Yes. You disagree? I disagree with you. You will disagree with every reasonable thing. So continue disagreeing. Uh -huh. yes. Disagree. Well, well, well. As high chief, I disagree with you. I will. And I overrule you. Overrule who? You. Overrule. Pa! You cannot overrule me. Who are you? You cannot overrule me. Overrule again. As, as a high chief, he, he, he has the right. He has the right to overrule you and disagree with you. Huh? Yes. Ah. He has the right. <laughs> ah. So, as a high chief, he has the right. Yes, eh? as a high chief, he has the right. Ah. <laughs> Ajebu, which both of us should have known before. Hmm? We should have known before, before, before. Known what? Known what? What does Ajebu know? We, know what? We should have known. Known what? Onyebula, we should have known that it is the finger, the hand, the leg, the neck, the total body of Ozi Chuku that is at work. Yeah. He has been using two of you to infiltrate the Kingmakers Council. Exactly. Exactly. And I tell you, as long as eh, me and uh, Ajebu are concerned, we will continue to oppose this inclusion you, are, you, are, you want to make now into the Kimekas Council. Uh, just the same way you are tied to the apron string of Akachuku. Yes, yes, we are. 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 We are. You are defending him. Ajebu, we are not people eh, who go to eat at the backyard, mm. dark corners. We, can, mm -mm. we take, we stand by our man. Because we have integrity. Mm -hmm. And we know we take. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. Because we take from somebody who is the rightful heir to the throne. Mm -hmm. Not, um, what do you have to?
<laughs> Look, it, it, it wasn't <laughs> conclusive. <laughs> it wasn't conclusive. It was not concluded before the Digwe joined his ancestors. And leaving the, the throne open for everybody, for whoever that is interested. It's all right. It's all right. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Hmm? Personally, and me and Ajebu, we don't recognize what two of you are saying. But whether you like it or not, myself and Ajebu must continue to oppose the inclusion of that notary into the scheme makers. Council. Bob. Who are you? I am sent by the gods of Mbadala. Gods of Mbadala. It is the fowl that digs up the blade that is used to kill it. Who sent you with such words, you madman? If a man goes into a land dispute empty handed, <laughs> the man who has yam seedlings will begin to plant yams. I ask you once again, you idiot, who sent you to disturb my ears with such worthless sayings? <laughs> The yam that is used in a sacrifice, if it does not die prematurely, it will surely germinate too. I think I should just kill you and be done with your nuisance. You cannot kill me again. You will be found out! I see. This is a declaration of war, right? I accept it. If it's a challenge, I accept it. You just wait for me. 
wait for me. Ozi Chuku, wait for me. Thank you. Father, forgive me for what I'm about to do to this idiot. Please, when did you become a reverend father? You know, sometimes you just have recourse to the Bible. Eh? Kingmakers, chiefs, custodians of our culture, please sit down. Yeah. Thank you. You don't come here too often, so what brings you? Um, actually, we have come to inform you of the new development. Uh, there will always be new developments where I am concerned. And my consolation is that both of you are protecting my interests, so I will always emerge victorious. What do I offer you? Prince, <clears throat> personally, I don't need any refreshments now. The only refreshments I require are the name and from where is our new chief priest. Kill for New chief priest. Bam. That is new development in the land. You know, we were in Onyajulam's compound holding a meeting. And uh, Onyajulam and his uh, brother, Mado, did he call him Mado Abuchi? They had perfected a heavy plan to force their member into the Kingmakers Council. What? Yes. You don't even need to bother yourself because we foiled the attempted attempt. Attempted attempt, yes. <laughs> and you... Yes. <laughs> we foiled it. Yes. And you know, we were holding this heated argument mm. concerning their sneaky ways of doing things. And BAM! From nowhere, the chief priest appeared. Claiming that he was sent by the gods. Mm. And he is not an indigent. Wait. Both of you are custodians of our culture. Mm -hmm. You know our tradition very well. Have any chief priest ever been appointed from outside to come and conduct affairs in Mbede land? Oh. No, no, no. <clears throat> the gods choose who will become their chief priest from that town. Mm -hmm. Prince, this one, I don't know what is happening. Hmm. It is very, very doubtful. Mm. Very doubtful. There's nothing to worry about. He will not be our chief priest. Uh -huh. He will not be our chief mm. priest. So how many? Three. Yeah, and that's minus the three of them. <laughs> I think we got Pancho. Pancho? Yeah. The main man? Of course. The one and only man. I think he was just with his friends. And now he's dead. Um, treasure. Did the prince like um, heard? Um, no, I, I don't think he has any idea about it. But don't forget, his car is bulletproof and soundproof. Thank goodness. That means we were never there. We deny everything. Of course, we're not even in Mbede as we speak. Manage this, eh? Manage this. It is only 500,000 naira. Hey, no one. Who's who, man? Who's who, man? This is very small. You are highly respected people, and I'm promising you that I will do more. Is it 500,000 naira you say? Small thing. Hey! You don't ah. even need to promise anything. We know you as a man of honor. Whatever you say, you always do. Bam. So don't even bother yourself promising. <laughs> and we are the ones to promise you that you must ascend the throne of Igwe of Mbedeland. Not that uh, overtly ambitious mm. second fiddle. Mm. You know who goes to town forgetting that it is the stubborn grasshopper mm. that ventures into the midst of uh, fowls that ends up in, in, in their gullets. <laughs> Prince Akaji, there me. Prince Akaji, we are just thinking about the day of coronation. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all.
Um, well, Flora, <coughs> all right, just listen up, okay? Um, you know the deal, all right? Just get the job done, focus. And after that, you and I will go far away from here and get married, all right? You don't have to tell me that. I've already decided to date. Okay, sorry for repeating myself. Um, mm. What bothers me is your boss. What if he doesn't do as he promised? What next for both of us? Don't worry, leave my boss to me, okay? He will deliver on his promise. He's my boss, I know him. What if he think otherwise? My boss? It's not like that. He's a man of honor. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I understand your fears, okay? But trust me, it will never come to that. Never. All right? Okay? All right, Pantry's gotta go. I left the house for too long now. All right? All right, you know what? I'll be seeing you around, okay? And um, just do what you have to do. Get the job done. I believe in you. I believe you will succeed. All right? Come here. Jules, go. Don't start what you can't finish. Go, <laughs> oh, I've had you. Okay. We were almost close to achieving our objective. Very close. Before the quarrelsome and the returned Agu started his usual antics of questioning everything. Huh? If they had taken the bite, by this hour, Mbede they would have had and were let. I was coming to put it to vote. To vote! Onyajulam, the man of Timba and Iroko. But when did the the tradition recommended uh, voting in Igwe's throne? No more the, the, the usual preserve of the gods. When did that happen? Maybe you don't know. We are living in an unscripted times. As such, we change tradition as we go along. The Igwe's tool has been vacant for such a long time. Yeah. Long time. And the gods have not said anything. They remain adamant. Nothing positive. What do we do? We have to take the bull by the horn. And then change it 
grab it because we need it. <laughs> we almost there. But the gods that have been very angry with us. Uh, maybe that's why your, your plan did not work. Uh, 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 that's uh, uh, why I did not say through. Uh, uh, maybe not. You are seeing one side. You are not seeing the other side. Maybe not. The appearance of the chief priest. The appearance of the chief priest. <laughs> uh, it made me to, to, to smell rat. I smell a rat. The appearance of that chief priest. Uh, I did not smell rat. No, I did not smell rat. Rather, I saw another Akachuku's conspiracy. He's never showed us keen to maneuver Uzioma to the throne. Do you understand? He's never short of it. Well, I, I don't care who he is. I don't care where he came from. You see, the issue is going to be settled on next half a day. Mm -hmm. But what I do right now is to go to the shrine and instruct the guards not to allow anybody access into the shrine. Mm -hmm. Do that. That's what we need. Well, I'm thinking of another wuru -wuru, another way to go about it, to maneuver. Because we need the throne, and we must get it. But this is <laughs> our right. When you bring wuru, -wuru into this, when you bring wuru, -wuru into this, it's our right. I will be coming with you. You will see. Do not be dismayed. The great Imagudu is with you. The gods of our land are <laughs> I said it. I will be quick. Yes, I will be quick. No one can stop me. No one. I will be quick. <laughs> Now listen to me. I will ask you that question once more. Where the hell are you coming from? Where have you been for the past three hours? I went to see the supplier. And what else did your suspicious man telling you I went to? Hello? She's back. Yes. Okay. Please now, my sister. Now get the fuck on your knees. Which prince? The one that has been back for the past two hours? Now move! Move it! Girls have the gods to attack us. Huh? They open fire on our positions. I declare a reprisal. I want to hit back at them like a sledgehammer with all the viciousness of Angie Carey. I'll think of a plan of action. But until then, I need. This thing kept a secret. All right, boss. All right? Just within this circle, this team, they took our boys. And I think we have the right to revenge. But. Bantu. All right, this meeting Bantu. is over. This means to talk to you later. Thank you. Come here. Boss. Why this straight face? 
Um, what is going on here? Oh, my friends, nothing. I was just dishing out some discipline, that's all. Uh, okay, um, whatever. Pancho, I want you to speak to Emeka for me. Oh, that. Um, Emeka already reported to me about the matter, and um, I sincerely want to apologize on his behalf. Okay. Um, but my prince, I must tell you that I'm, I'm not happy that you and Madame went out in a car that was not given security clearance. What if that car had a remote control incendiary device planted underneath? Um, Pancho, I mean, why are you being all dramatic? You and I know that is not possible. Come to think of it, that car was parked within the premises. Sorry, my prince. Did you call? of this as a first time offender but let this be a warning to every one of you if you're caught dining with an enemy you won't be this lucky treasure I blame you for Flora's misbehavior if you've been alive to your duties around here this security slip wouldn't have happened come to think of it you informed me that Pancho was involved in the casualties of that attack I endorsed. I, I'm very sorry, boss. But that was the information I got from those who carried out the operation. Please, I'm sorry. Excuses. I hate excuses! You should have confirmed the information before mentioning it to me. Girls. Yes, boss. Girls! Yes, boss. You have to sit up. You are sleeping! You are sleeping badly! Come and hearken to my plea. Let all conspiracies against my ambition fail. Let all my enemies bite the dust. Let everybody who stands between me and my ambition to ascend the throne of Uwede be eliminated. I am Akachuku. I dine with the gods. I commune with the gods. I have spoken. And so shall it be.
Treasure! Treasure! Everything is gone, just like that. Disappear without the trace, vanish into thin air. The whole warehouse is empty. Hey! Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about the consignment you collected the money you took from uh, Prisaka Chuku to nah. invest in? Yeah, hey! Uh, well, hey, this is a huge problem. Calm down. Let us trace it very well. Maybe we can hold somebody responsible or we might know where the problem is coming from. Huh? Goose worth of five million naira cannot just disappear into thin air. It's not possible, Ikedi. It's not. Let me ask you. Ah. Uh, before you left the warehouse, was it properly secured? Yes. I locked the warehouse personally myself. These are the keys to the warehouse. When I got there this morning, the padlock is still in place. The iron door was not broken. Everything was intact. When I went into the warehouse, the whole place is empty. Vanished without a trace. Everywhere has disappeared. How do I repay Prince Akachuk? How do I tell him that the goose worth five million naira I bought with his money has disappeared? No, this is a huge problem. It is a, it is a problem. All that I have lived both for all my life has just gone down the drain, just like that. Hey. Chai, 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 chai. That's true. <laughs> People can be something else. <laughs> if it were not for the people around that day, it would have been outright war on the market. <laughs> Honestly. Ah. <laughs> please, Ralph. <laughs> My sides are beginning to hurt, please. <laughs> in fact, let me go and see to Chief. Find out what is keeping him in that room. Maybe he's still trying to make up his mind. Raphael, you of all people should be used to how the prince does his things by now. Hmm? He has already made up his mind to help you. So no need to entertain fears, okay? All right, just give me one minute. I'll be right back. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. Okay. Akachuku, what are you doing? Huh? Akachuku, when will you repent and desist from your evil ways? Eh, Aka, when? When people come to seek for monetary assistance from you, I think it's better you tell them you don't have the means to help them. Instead of making them victims of your diabolical practice. When you want to help people, just help them with your open mind. And the good Lord will reward you. What you're doing is wrong. That poor man is out there, waiting expectantly. Believing that you are a heaven sent benefactor. Which I am. Tell him I'll be with him in a minute. Never murder 
I thank God that this thing only happened at the gate. Hmm. Hey. Hey. This is the saddest day in my life. The saddest day in the life of Mbete. That people should resort to the use of bomb. Bomb? To settle minor disputes, minor quarrel. Ah. Bomb in Mbede. But let me ask you, who do you think could have masterminded this? Who is? If not Aka. Aka Chuba. Yes! Aka did it. And I must summon an emergency meeting of the Council of Elders, the Kingmakers. You better do. Hmm. Let's discuss this issue. It's becoming something else. But I hope there was no casualty. Uh, I cannot tell. I have not known about that. Mm. You are lying. You killed her human mantra. Far was a gentle and kind soul. She didn't tell my father as she promised, but you arranged for her to get murdered. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't believe you. I know your time. And I pray God will punish you and those assassins you sent to Mother Flora. Wait. Are you serious like Flora murdered? Don't give me that look. You killed her, so don't pretend. Stop this! How could you ever think I have a hand in Flora's death? Fine, she caught you and I at the hotel, but that's taking suspicion to a ridiculous level. I don't have a hand in that girl's death, I beg you. So if you didn't kill her, you claim who did? Flora didn't have any enemy as far as I know. But you made an enemy of her just because of all she got to know about you and I. That's not true, my dear. That's not true. I agreed I was afraid of your father if he gets to know about you and I, but that's not enough reason for me to kill Flora. I might be a lot of things, but I'm not a murderer. I'm not. Stop lying. I don't believe you. I will leave you with your guilt and I pray it eats you up. Don't touch me. Just let go of me. I don't ever want to see you again in my life, you murderer. I hate you. I said I hate you. I am here to tell you that the worship Tozo is taking a new and very dangerous dimension. And your candidate is the aggressor. Excuse me, my, candi uh, my candidate? Yes! Prince Akachuku. Yes! I am here to tell you to go advise him, to go advi advise him, that if he continues his onslaught eh, with explosives 
I don't know where we are going. Now. Excuse me. I don't know. Excuse me. Explosives. Yes. Are you suggesting that Prince Akach uses explosives now? On all Ozichuku. He did it. It's not true. It is not true. Yes, he did it. I doubt it very, very seriously. What do you doubt? Or better still, who should you doubt? You doubt that five people were killed with explosives in Ozichuku's residence. Or you doubt that the heinous crime committed was not by uh, Akajuku. What, what, what are you doubting? Uh, Mother Abuchi, the Prince Akajuku that I know, that you also know, mm -hmm. is incapable of committing such a crime. Uh, that, is, that is a blind devotion. Blind? Yes, that blind. is blind, blind devotion to that criminal. Huh? Yes. You call Akajuku, take it back to, that, to your own criminal. Take it back to your criminal. What do you mean? You speak your mind, I speak my mind. Uh -huh. But Akachuku is taking this thing too far. He's taking it too far. If he continues like that, I don't know where we're going. See, if you're a man, we bow his head and put ice water there and step down for Prince Akachuku, whom you know is the rightful heir to that throne. Eh? I'm telling you, and I'm telling you that is a true fact, and you know that. And let me tell you also that there's no amount of intimidation, blackmail, or whatever that will make Prince Akachuku shake from that from, from the pursuit. Now, you talked about uh, explosives. Yes. Uh -huh. Don't you know the type of business your man does? Don't you know? What type of business? Don't you know? You eat from him. Your man is a cheat. He cheats. He, even cheat, he, he cheats up to cheating himself. And you, don't you know? Ah, and you are talking. Do you know his business partner that he has cheated and have, they have come to take a pound of flesh? And you are taking it to Prince Akachuku? Akachuku is incapable of doing that. He is a thoroughbred prince of the land. Not the uh, uh, bandits that you... Uh, talk no, about no, uh, no, no. this. Is, uh, please, uh, if, if you have another thing to say. Uh. Look, I have to believe him because we are having a meeting. In an hour's time. I, I, th I think at uh, Onyajulan's place. Onyajulan. I will be there, I will be there, I will be there. Uh, you see, uh, uh, I, I knew it. I knew it that coming to open your mind and make you see reason is a waste of time. Yes, something's picked in me, or is speaking in me, he said, try. Maybe I will be reasonable today. But I have seen that my first thought is correct. So, Mother Abuchi, right. excuse me, I'm not, reason excuse I'm not reasonable. You know you are not. Upon all the education I have just given you, giving me. you are not reasonable. I'm not reasonable. Not okay, reasonable. Up, huh? go to your house. No, this is your house. I'm going. Go to your house. Leave me alone. Oh. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Madra, stay away from me. Don't touch me. I hate you. Don't touch me. I'm warning for the last time. Leave me alone. I hate you for doing this to me. Leave me alone. Hello, Monster. How are you? Let me be. Come. Come, come. come. Are Let me alone. Are you deaf? Are you blind? Are you a learner? Let my cousin be. That's what she asked for. Yeah. Are you related to Prince Akachuko? Um, um, uh, come. I don't know what you call yourself, but what has that got to do with the situation on ground now? Okay, sorry. Better. Nothing. Better. You better be sorry. You know, I'm getting to the car. Let's go. Me? Yeah. Jump into this car. Do you want my father to disown me? Thanks for not running me over. Thanks for the ride. I will pass. Thank you. Uh, uh, no, no, see. I know your father and my father, they're having a kind of problem, but that shouldn't affect us, the children. No, it shouldn't. Okay? Uh, see, it is better your father see you, me driving you to the house than you trekking along the streets. Huh? Come on, jump in. Let me drop you at home. 
Thank you. Better. She was saying thank you and not foaming for me. <laughs> no, not a man. <laughs> Treasure. Yes, my prince. Are the girls ready? Yes, they are. Good. Let's go and teach that Akachuku a lesson in heightened violence. Let's talk inside. Okay. We were about going out. All right, let's talk inside. Tell the girls to go about in all duties. Okay. Uh, uh, treasure. Yes. Tell the girls to relax until we're ready. Okay, my friends. Let's go. Girls. Check down to the house, and your house is still far away from here. Yes, so maybe another dinner today. Not after the event of this morning. My father's security will be on high alert. You know, all they need to see. I don't know. Um, I don't get it. Uh, what is the security excitement all about? <clears throat> You're kidding me. You mean you haven't heard? Heard? Heard what? We were attacked. Attacked? I mean, by a group of people or what? We lost five guards. God. Five guards? And how many, how many of them did your father's security gun down? There were no physical attackers. It was a bomb planted by a main gate. A bomb? At least that's what the police said. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. I have to exit the car before I'm being identified and reported to my father. I have enough problem once for a lifetime. I have to go now. We shall taught them a lesson. We would never, ever forget the rest of their lives. <laughs> You're oh. right. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh. Five of them, just like that. I like to call it a good return on investment. You know, they take three of us and we send five of them on an everlasting message. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. That is, if there will ever be a next time, they will think more than five times before attacking us. <laughs> For sure. You know what? Now 
they know who is boss in violence. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know if we got any of their big babes? Yeah, I know I got it. I don't think so. Unless you want to consider the driver, or the gate man, or even the cook. Um, say that again. Did, did, you, did, did you say cook? Yes, the cook. Oh, Jesus. What? I was among the casualties. Yes, Pancho. That was the name my informant gave me. Um, why is her face like this? Do you know her? Oh, God. Well, I have no business being among the casualties. Boss, the flora we're talking about here is a member of the enemy camp. Yes. I thought. You're too drunk. You are drunk. Very drunk. Yes, flora was a member of the enemy camp. And yes, flora was the only asset we had in that camp. Oh, yes. That is why I'm saying that I really can't understand it. First, the explosion at Ozichuku's palace, then the attack on my convoy by Ozichuku's people. Huh? Those women? You mean Prince Ozichuku and his women attacked your convoy? Well, yes, they did, but it was a very amateurish performance. Very childish. That's why I don't wish to talk about it. No, no way to. What is wrong with that man? I don't know. You see, violence is not part of my philosophy, so I have no reason whatsoever to use violence to engage Ozichuku. First of all, I believe that violence is a very poor substitute for intelligence. If I want to do something, I do it openly so that people can applaud me. Resorting to violence like some kind of animal is not part of my strategy. No. Are you saying you don't have a hand in the bombing of Ozichuku's house? Like I just told you, I have no need for violence. Ozichuku aspires to the traditional stool of Mbade, legitimately. There's nothing wrong with that. I too entertain the same aspiration. Therefore, I have no reason to use violence to achieve my aim. I don't wish him evil at all, and I can't wish his family evil. It doesn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. Then, who must have done this evil? Uh -huh. Um, Ozi Chuku, you must remember, is a businessman. And there is nothing you can put past any businessman. I believe that Perhaps in one of his shady deals, he must have swindled somebody who has now decided to take it out on him. Remember, I am merely guessing. I said it could be a possibility. This is a possibility. A very strong possibility. Again, what does I know that two of us uh, legitimately aspiring to the traditional stool of Mbede. There could be somebody who is covertly eyeing that stool. Somebody who clandestinely is creating circumstances that will compel Uzi Chuku and I to clash so that where they will see us as violent people, shove us aside, and then he can now take over the throne again as a possibility. A great one, no? Wait, 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 wait. Do you know that this is the strongest possibility? possibility. Wow. And right. you know the Ozi that I know will stop at nothing that to paint you, I can't go black in the eyes of your people. Good. 
Number three. Ozu Uchuku may have created that explosion himself in order to attract sympathy from the kingmakers of Mbwede. Again, that's a possibility. But I believe that sympathy has never won anybody anything. So he's not likely to get too far with that kind of ploy. Okay, for Prince Ozu Uchuku. He is capable of doing anything and everything. Yeah. I hear he lost five members of his domestic staff eh? in the attack. To us, he lost five people. Mm. To him, he merely lost five expendable individuals. People who could be dispensed with, people who are not worth much. So while we grieve that he lost people, I guess he might be smiling that at last he has sacrificed people to attract sympathy. <laughs> so those people don't mean anything to him. But this is evil. It is evil. I, yeah. I wish him luck. <sighs> <laughs> I wish him luck. You don't get it, do you? Akachuku attacked you. Yes. The natural cause of action is to fight back. But is that the best option? No. Akachuku attacked you. We all agree. Use it as a weapon. Use it as a fact. Let the people know and sympathize with you. I do not need sympathy from anyone. I need revenge. You do not need revenge. What you need is common sense. Think. Think for once. Was it you? Think. Imagudu says, I will be your avenger. I will repay every life with an eye. And for every drop of blood shed, Rivers of blood will follow. Not to worry. Your battle has already been won. Is it true? You are true. Hmm? But how could you? What do you want to tell me to brighten my already beautiful day, son? Come on, go on and tell me. I mean, Dad, how could you carry out such a murderous act on your brother? I see that this church your mother has been taking you to is beginning to confuse you a lot. Dad, when has it degenerated for you to use explosives on your brother? When, Dad? We'll talk about it later. Get out. Yes. suppliers right now in the hotel and I'm there now ah wait when how where are you running to hey okay 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 no problem eh you just keep in touch and they are here already I'll just Manova things. Okay? Okay, bye. Mm. 
It's all a blatant lie. Yes. It's a lie. Nobody. Nobody can pin this crime on Prince Akachuku. Then, who did it? Are you asking me? Who did it? Who hates Ozichuku with passion like Akachuku? Tell us. Akachuku does not hate his brother. The only thing is that he dislikes his greed for power and then trying to annex what does not belong to him. That's all. Now, I ask you people a question. Who in your mind do you think carried out such dangerous attack? Are you asking us? No. Are we the police? It is the police you will ask. They are the people equipped to find out people who have committed a crime. Abu, you're always very funny. You're funny. And, 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 and besides, Ozi Chuku, in all honesty, cannot come out and tell you that it was Aka Chuku that committed the act. Thank you. Do you know why? Why? Uh, that's why? A shame. It's a shame that both of you are chiefs, not to talk of being kingmakers. Hey! Don't look at yourself. Ajebu, we did not hear what he said. But I'm telling him now that he just vomited a rant nonsense. No, 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 no. Mind your language. That... That's not mind your language. It is what, it is this pitiance that you have enjoying from uh, uh, Hosei Chuku that, is, that has made your brains turn round and you cannot reason properly. For you to open your mouth and make this kind of... How dare you? There what? What well, there was? How dare you? There was. Good down, man. Good down. Good down. See? Eh? We are having a discussion of intelligent and reasonable people. Yes. Not to come to this place and start bandy words around. Eh? Look, if it comes to fisticuffs, yes. you will have your own fair share of being rolled on the ground. Yes. Yes. I, I, I don't know, what, what has Abu said that will make you to, to flare up like this? What has he said? Hear him. What is hear him? Hear him! Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Tell me what is insultive in, in somebody stating an obvious fact. Uh -huh. Just tell me. Uh -huh. You see? You see what I've been saying? If you think that we in Mbede and Mbede people don't know that it is uh, the little pitiance yes. that Ozichuku gives you that keeps all of you aflo afloat, then you are deceiving yourselves. Oh. Exactly. Hear yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, true. Yeah, good down. Yeah. Good down. Uh -huh. um, let's go back to the issue at hand. You see, Prince Akachiku committed the crime. And that is my verdict. Simple. That is the verdict. And it's final. He committed the crime. All right. Both of you have taken your stand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Akatu committed the crime. Yes. Very good. Can you tell me what happened today? What happened? Uh -huh. What happened? What? You do not know that that your Prince Ozichuku with his band of gun trotting girls, uh, deadly girls, girl. went and they belayed Prince Akachuku's convoy today and riddled the whole of his vehicles with bullets. Oh. Oh. Today, 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 go to Akachuku's house, the prince, and you see all his exotic cars riddled with bullets. Are you not fabricating? What are we talking Fabricating? What are we talking here? Ajebu, are you not smelling what I'm smelling here? The smell is unmistakable. It's everywhere. Mm. You know, the smell of the seed is everywhere. Mm. And it's caused by these two people. Eh, mind your language. Don't try that. Look, okay, what are you doing? This is my house. Don't try it. What are you doing? This is my house. Tell me. Wise up. You're welcome. The girls have decreed that I am presented to the people of Mbede. See what your stupidity has caused us. Can you see? You undertook such a sensitive assignment without clearance from me because we are lost in for revenge. Now see what has cost us. Honestly, I should have your head cut off. My, my prince, please. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. He's sorry. <laughs> He's sorry. Yeah. I should forgive you. So we just go back to our normal ways, right? Wrong! Because even if I do, Flora will not come back. She will not. You're asking me to forgive you. You destroyed my most dependable asset. Somebody I have used for several assignments. 
and you're asking me to forgive you. My prince, my prince, please. Punish me, but please forgive me. Please. All right. I've forgiven you. Do you know treasure? Treasure is linked to Ozichuku. And Ozichuku depends on her heavily. Detach treasure from Ozichuku. And Ozichuku is bare for predators like me to pick up. I want you to go and get her. Get her here in under 72 hours. Okay. I will deliver her, my prince. Can you do that? I can, my prince. You don't have an option. You want me to forgive you completely? Bring the treasure here. Okay, sir. I will. Go on, let me think. We can do anything. Thank you, my prince. If I, you're my younger brother. And I'm telling you the truth. Your father is the real devil. Okay? Now let me add this to this. You see that horn that used to be on the devil's head? Huh? Your father's own is... No, so stop it! Just stop it! It's a sin to talk about your father in that light and in such tone. Mother, come on. You, see, you don't have to cover him all the time. His skills have fallen off. One of the truths is that Prince Akachuku is the real devil. I can see that your anger has taken the better part of you. And you call yourself a child of God. I am a child of God. And that is why I'm not afraid to call the devil by his name. <laughs> well, I think you're in one of those your moods today and talking sense to you is just a waste of time. My dear, let's go out and take some fresh air before someone spoils you for me. Mom, I was thinking, uh, what about if we invite the pastor to the house to pray for dad? <laughs> if I... <laughs> this is... This is really a comic relief. <laughs> Prevo. Huh? <laughs> you see the devil that is not afraid to go to church, you want to pray for him? The sheep that will grow horns should ask the ram how its next feels like. Get out the road, you madman! There are several leaves in the forest. I hear people go in search of your castle leaves. Don't you know you're obstructing the movement of the very prince of the school? What is that to me? Do I look like someone who is looking for something in the pocket of someone who is also looking for something himself? Madman! I can't talk to free. And if you don't leave this place in 20 minutes, I'll be forced to run you down! <laughs> you think you're tough? You think you're tough? Because you have a gun. I'm going to teach you my lesson. The drunken vow. Things that alcohol gives in boldness. Forgetting that the mad fostit enjoys twin chicken bones. Two! Three! Salute! You're welcome, wise one. Welcome. The gods are in a haste to restore peace to murder. And you are the ones delaying the process. The gods also take dim view of your constant quarrels. Hey! Wise one, we are very sorry. 
Very, very sorry, wise one. Please help us tell the gods that we're sorry. It will not happen again. The gods have had you. Wise one. Um, we know that it is the gods that choose who sits on the Igwe's stool. Now, there seems to be a problem in Mumbede. Ever since the death of our former high priest, Chief Mbemena. Now, the question is, who will crown the, the, the Igwe elected by the gods? And, uh, you know, uh, wise one, there is this unresolved issue of the kingmakers not having the right number as required by the tradition. The gods say you should nominate a ranking chief to become a member of the king making council. And after that, let the oldest member of the council become the high chief. Wise one, if this issue is not resolved, it will certainly affect the kingmakers uh, in their um, when they start to prepare for the coronation uh, rights of the Igwe elect. And the uh, 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 wise one, um, as someone who is always close with the gods, can you ask the gods who amongst the high chiefs should be nominated into the king's Becker's council? The gods have already chosen Chief Ignatius Nature. Mbawa! Mbawa! The gods have spoken! Eh? Wise one, thank you very much. We appreciate. Please, on behalf of the chiefs and kingmakers here and our community Mbede, we say thank you. Please help us tell the gods that we are very, very grateful. Thank you, wise one. The gods have had you. I will be presented immediately at the village square. I hope you're satisfied. I hope you're satisfied. Let us satisfy. The gods have spoken. Tete 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 mbere kwenu. Tete 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 mbere kwenu. Mbere kwenu. 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 Kwenzo no. We have all gathered here to discuss a very important issue that borders. You people say that Amami is mad. Eh? Oh, am I mad? Yet, you people seek wisdom from my fountain. <laughs> Let me tell you the meaning of this adage. It means that. A well-trained person who will stand the test of time. <laughs> this is a prince that will not stand the test of time. But the chicken says that why he looks up while drinking water is that what is going to kill it comes from the sky. Oh. <laughs> This is a prince whose fate is shrouded in darkness!
me free. See an idiot. I also know. just being stupid. Now I can see you're also suffering from delusion. Hey, hey, wait. Just do me a favor. Pocket your hand. I don't take orders from you. I don't! Too bad. Hmm? All right. <clears throat> I thought we could talk. Okay? I mean, come up with a mutual benefit scheme. That will leave us real winners at the end of this present dispute between our bosses. Okay? Mm. I like the sound of that. Keep talking, I'm listening. Thank you. You see, <clears throat> from my point of view, I, I don't think it's very wise for us to keep acting only on orders given by those two. I think it's it's time we started thinking about our own future security. I mean, there are no guarantees that they will still need us if either of them succeeds and becomes Igwe. All right? I, I think you have a point there. But Pancho, please take this blindfold off me. I love to look into the eye of my would-be business partner while discussing business. Keep talking. I'm listening. Okay. You see, our bosses are both wealthy. All right? I think we could leverage on that. I mean, orchestrate means and then make neat fortunes for ourselves. I, I, I would like us to call it a, a, a retirement benefit fund. Are you following? Yeah. Yes. 
Nice one. Oh, but, Pancho, please untie me. My ankles hurt so bad. Please, just take it off my legs, please. Come on, baby. Pancho. Okay. Okay, fine. Oh. Oh. I want you to think about what I just proposed to you. We can lose if we do exactly what we have to. All right? Yes, I'm, I'm, oh, thank you, I'm with you. Um, but let me ask you a question. Did you make such proposition to Flora? I mean, before you murdered her? Okay. Okay, fine. I, I admit I did. All right, but honestly speaking, Flora's death was absolutely unintentional, okay? But hey. In our business, we don't look back, all right? We only look forward to what possibilities, right? So, what are you talking about, my idea? Yeah, I like it. I mean, I love the idea. Yeah, I like it just the same way I like you. <sighs> but, Pancho, we can't be discussing business while I'm changed like this. Huh? Time in here and discussing business does not flow together. Come on, baby. Take this. Just untie me so that we can do more than business meeting here. If you understand what I mean. <laughs> Come on, baby. Okay. All right. Okay. Fine. Gently, gently. Ow. Jesus Christ, what have I been doing? You just acted yourself. Stupid! Let's go. 
Akachuku, you shall meet your Waterloo today. First to hover at the end of a sacrifice. <laughs> then you will know that something happened in the land of the spirits. <laughs> From father, Ugo. Yes, father. I am happy you remembered this apparel of fortification. Whenever you put it on, you are spiritually invigorated and protected, and nobody can harm you. Good sons, I'm proud of both of you. Now let's go and have our dinner. Okay, father. Why am I dressed like this? And why am I in the why am I in the dumb site? I'm a me here the why how far? Madam, please, I need help. Why am I in the village dumb site, dressed in filthy rags? Hey, Ochimo, I'm a me here. You can never stop being funny. 
What kind of question is that? Please, I'm in a hurry. See you later. Ha. Huh? What really happened to me? Have I been mentally unstable for some time? Oh God. I... I didn't the blood of Nena. Nena. My Nena. The same Nena. It is only the blood of Nena that can neutralize Akachuku. Offer Nena. And your arch enemy will be no more. But why Nena? But don't you think there's a mix-up somewhere? The great Imaguji never seeks anything by error. Go and fetch Nena. 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 Go. Go. Leave. Go and bring her. You cannot keep Imaguji waiting. You want Nena? I'll bring Wait! You. That failed chief priest must be confined back to where we've got him. I have never seen anything so extraordinary, mm -hmm. so terrifying, yeah. like what my eyes saw today in the flesh plane. You see, on the contrary, what happened at the village square today has vindicated my position mm. on who Mbwe Denise at this point in time. Okay. Even the gods were with him. Eh? A God used, the gods used the Prince Akachuku to save Mbede from that fake chief priest. I mean, it's, it's not a happenstance. Not all, not all, not all. Please, please. This is not time for press singing. It's not the time. Aye. There you go again, Mother Abuchi. There you go again. Can't you listen before talking? Eh? You know, what my brother is trying to tell you is that you must learn how to listen before talking. Huh? Agu. Okay. Each time you make your speech mind how you make reference to me what is i am tired of this you insult oh, uh, what, what insult you, yeah. insult you? Yeah. Yeah. Is this? you have started again chiefs yeah. chiefs chiefs there will be no quarreling in my house today why can't you people behave like elders and king makers each time you gather it is quarrel 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 you cannot come up with ideas positive ideas that will move nobody forward but quarrels. If this quarrel must continue today, it is my humble opinion that all of you should walk out of my compound. Ah. We are not, not, don't go to that extent. No, we, are, we are sorry. 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 Okay? I accept your apology. So let's pretend we are not there. Can somebody tell us exactly? What happened at the village square today? No, I mean, we were all there. We saw it with our eyes. It was, it was a case of a man versus a wizard. Oh, wonderful. And the man prevailed. Huh? God used Akachuku to save us from that fraudulent chief priest. Yeah. Huh? The kind of terrible thing that would have happened in our history. What do you uh, My brothers. I don't know how you will see this if I drop this idea. Um, I am suggesting that we invite the two princes to a roundtable meeting. I mean, when they assemble, 
we will now appeal to one of them to step down for the other in the interest of peace and development of uh, the land. Eh? Yeah. And then solve the issue of uh, fake chief priests. Because the word has gone out. And people know that we are in this array. That's what I'm, that's my suggestion. I think I agree with you. I agree with you. It is time Mbere should come together yes. as one. Yes. And I think we should forget our various differences. Mm. Yes. Come together and move Mbere forward. I think what you have just said is very, very important. And if we practice it, Mbere will be one united force. <laughs> My kid brother, <laughs> good to see you again. Okay, thank you, brother. Welcome, Mom, man. Mom, you don't know what happened. Dad almost lost his life at the village square today. Alpha man and I were around to resuscitate him anyway. Thank goodness. Oh, I can see. Um, you guys actually revived him through the fetish things you do with him, I guess. What, of course, you can tell for the look. <laughs> Mom, oh, good now. I have prayed for this years that all of you will avoid getting yourself into what your father is into. And here you are, coming back after five years and going back into sin. Oh God, my heart bleeds. My heart bleeds with what I'm seeing. Ugona, I'm not happy with you at all. I'm not happy. Um, Mom, you know what? Ugona and Afam, they see themselves as father's true sons. But be bros, you know what? America failed woefully in changing you to, to, to this thing. Will, will, will you shut up? Hey, shut up! Hey, hey, stop it. Stop it! Stop it. Mama, you hurt him! Stop it! I woke up. I woke up. Mama, you woke up. You woke up. I 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 woke you guys are dead. No, so I said this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
Are you aware that your friend has um, disappeared with the money I gave him? No, my prince. But you know he is no longer in Umbere. He's run away from Umbere. Don't tell me you don't know that. Uh, I've not seen him for some days now, but mm. not as if he's unusual because from time to time he goes to the city to buy goods. Mm. In other words, um, he must have gone to the city to buy goods with the money I gave him. Yes, sir. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I think you're a very enterprising young man. So don't worry about my suspicions. You know, I'm not used to you, young man. Sir. No problem, my prince. Mm -hmm. Would that be all? Mm -hmm. Yes, that will be all. You can go now. No, oh, oh, one minute. If your friend goes to the city to buy goods, does he normally go with everything he has in his house? Because I, lo I looked in. I didn't see anything in his house. My prince, mm -hmm. I've told you all I know about uh, Okay, this movement. Okay, I believe you have told me everything you know. Do I believe you? No, I don't believe you. But come on, even if I don't believe you, it doesn't really matter because I think you're a good young man, enterprising. You show a lot of promise. Um, why don't we meet more often? and exploit this newfound relationship of ours, because I think we should. I like you. Um, hmm? That sounds great, my prince. Yes, in fact, um, what I want to do is um, give you a loan. Give me 5% interest, only 5% interest. Hmm? And all the money you will make will go to you. Thank you, my prince. <laughs> yeah. That sounds great, my prince. So, we shall meet and work it out. Hmm? Okay, my prince. Meanwhile, have a wonderful day. Hmm? Thank you, my prince. Mm. You too, my prince. Good. Now, Poncho. My prince. We shall be going for a burial. Hmm? Make all the arrangements. All right, my prince. Check the camera, sure the oil is okay. Let me see how he will profit from the money I will give him. <laughs> he doesn't know me. If he can ever, I'm for him.
Woo! Yeah. No, no, no. No, you can't go out with this car. You can't go out with this car. This is my personal car. This car is my personal car. You can use any other car in this compound. Not this car. Not this car. What is he up to? I don't know. Bro. What's your problem? You guys can use any other car. But please, please, eh? Please, you should leave my personal car alone. Are you serious? I'm serious, oh. I'm serious. Leave my personal car alone. Oh, no. This is what I call the courage of a black man. You can say whatever you want to say. You can say that again. Again and again. Please, get out of the way, okay? I think you're not going anywhere with this car. Please, out of the way, okay? This is my personal car, and you guys don't come back with any car, so you can't go out with this car. I said you're not going out. You didn't know that car. But so this guy. car is my personal car. I said, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Lives are you going to sacrifice to achieve your ambitions? Hmm? I say I'm sorry. I didn't want to offer you up for sacrifice, but I was forced to. I was not given another option. I'm sorry. Just the same way you're sorry for cheating. The same way you're sorry for feasting on my unborn child at your coven. I am sorry. I have learned my lessons. I swear I will not touch Nina or Ijoma. I'm watching you. Just lay one finger on my children, on my daughters, and I will give you a clap that you can never carry. I vow on my life. It will never happen again. Now I know better than to do what Magudu requires. But I promise you, nothing will happen to Nina. May heaven help you. Ozi Chuku. Ozi Chuku. Ozi Chuku. You will eat the meat of your child. You will consume the meat of your sacrifice. Treasure. You know what to do after the sacrifice. You may proceed. Imagudu is impatient. You have until noon to deliver Nena to the temple. What? What is it, woman? Huh? Can't you just go your way or do your thing the way you damn well please? And stay away from my business. Look, look, I'm not ready to listen to any of those your craps, okay? Stay away from me. Afam, you speak to me, your mother, in that tone. Afam! Look, I will speak to you anywhere I damn well, please. Do you know why? Because you are not fit to be my mother. Just the same way you're not fit for my father. Hit me! Go on, hit me! You are the true son of your father. 
who has succeeded in setting you and go against me. So go and hit me. Hit me! I'm going to receive a word from your father. Go on! Pushed Afan pushed me. Afan, I will kill Afan. Afan, you know, son, you know, son. I will kill him. Why should he put you? Why should he push you? Afan, come on. Don't do anything to him. He's also my son. He's also your son, but look at what he did to you. No. I don't do anything to him. Please. I don't want anything to happen to him. Oh, God. God, why do my children hate each other? God bless my children. They're all I have. <laughs> Cause them to unite and follow you. <laughs> Don't stop this division between them. Mother Afan deserves to be taught a lesson. He deserves to be taught a lesson. And if you do that, you're no better than him. You're no better than your father. God. God, take me. I can live through this nightmare my family has become. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything to him, okay? I won't go after him. Hey, mom. Come, that tend on mortal thoughts and oversee the activities of humanity. I summon you. Come and invigorate my son. Strengthen him as I initiate him into the cult of invincibility. You have now been initiated into the cult of invincibility. Henceforth, nobody can harm you. Nothing can penetrate your body. I congratulate you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, son. Father, you sent her. Yes, yes. So kneel down, kneel down. Kneel down, I said kneel down. Yes. Um, I want the two of you to listen to my directives carefully. Especially you, Lena. And Jama, you are not a baby, so you have to listen with rapt attention too. Anyway, before then, uh, you see, I have to pray for you. May the gods of our land protect you from the evil machinations of Imagudu. His evil eyes will not see you. Now, open your hands. Yes, rub it on your head. Come on, go ahead. Do that now. Very good. With this, Imagudu cannot touch you. Imagudu cannot harm you. Uh, you can go for now.
Doctor. My brother. Uh, what was my brother? Calm down. Uh, doctor, I'm, I'm down. Uh, I will say fine. Uh, as, uh, as you open his eyes. Calm down. Uh, as, as he said anything, Doctor. Calm down, my brother. Calm down. Calm down. You see, I'm sorry. He was an elite. And we try all we could to save the life of your brother. Or to not have her. And where are our princesses going without chaperone, as ordered by your father, Prince Ozichuku? I'm taking her to the shopping center. Father said I should get some new clothes for her. If you don't believe us, you can go in and check. He's inside there. Wait for you here. No, no, no. That's unnecessary. You are too responsible to be doubted. You just go ahead. But don't forget to buy my own new things. I appreciate new things too. So what do you want me to buy for you, Fee? Uh, anything new. Okay. Hey, you two! Hey! Stop that! Where do you think you're going to? Huh? What now, treasure? When are you going to give me that bag you promised me? <laughs> Is that why you shouted at us the way you did? Anyway, as soon as I come back, I'll give it to you. Promise? I promise. Okay, but don't get that bag torn out there. Because treasure doesn't go around with torn bags. Did you get me? <laughs> now you, Sabi. Let's go eat your man. All right, then you take care of yourself, sir. Why are you delaying in presenting Nenna to the temple? I was preoccupied today. But why the hurry? If one cannot achieve something in a day and he decides to postpone it to the next day. It's the same thing. What is important is the fact that the thing gets done at the end of the day. Ozi Chuku. Ozi Chuku. Your Highness. You are toying with the great Imagudu. You are toying with lava fire. Where is Nenna? I say, where is Nenna? <laughs> so you are hiding something. Somebody the great Imaguju has chosen for his presence. Oh, what a mistake. A grave mistake you are making. Now you've done your best. Imaguju will do the rest. Things we don't know about that in the sis. Come on, let's just go inside and see that there are all the surprises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even the cars are going to use a good hotel. Mm -hmm. You are 
dead. You do not have any business in the land of the living. <laughs> you and those that you could talk to you were done with me and my unborn child. You missed it. You think I'll go down to the grave so that you will keep sacrificing my children one after the other. You missed it. You see this too? I dare you and those that you put the smallest hair of that skin. <laughs> you are ranting, woman. Ranting. Nobody, nobody can stop the great Imagudu from taking whatever he wants. Not you, woman. So get out of my way. Over my already dead body. Then you are calling for it. Yo, my big bro. <laughs> oh, my bro, you look good, man. You look good. How are you doing? <laughs> you look sharp. You're good. Uh, I know. I know. So tell me, what have I missed? Uh, nothing really. Nothing really. So tell me, what have you and that father of yours been up to in the last couple of hours? Oh, uh, well, nothing much. It's just a business meeting. Bro. Come on, tell me something. I'm curious. Put me up to speed. Come on. <laughs> well, if I have to advise you, I think I better advise you to concentrate your curiosity on this delectable, young, comfort and sensuous lady by your side. You know, get some drinks in you and then shut the hell up, okay? <laughs> See, bros, you don't, you don't get it, okay, do you? Like, like seriously, I, wherever you guys have been to, left you looking different from the iPhone that asked me to wait here a couple of hours ago, I tell you. You're damn right. Yeah. You're right. Hey! Where are the damn waiters around here? Hey! <laughs> nice try, bro. Nice try. But you see, you don't push me off with that. Okay? I am curious. There is something about you. This glow, I don't get it. Listen, Yuji, you keep talking like this. I was not suspecting you joined the gay community, okay? And Lord help me, you know I'm going to slap that demon out of you in a jiffy. And you go this for this, and you know that. What? Okay, like seriously, you're not going to let me in on what you guys have been up to, would you? Ah. Hey, come on, girl. Are, are you going to ping all day? Not really. You people we are discussing, so I have nothing to do. Hey, come on that, okay? When are you gonna get your trick on? You know, say this is my mouthy kid brother getting him into a room and then to get his groove on and then and I promise you, look, that is a huge payoff in the end when he's dealt with you, okay? I'm not a prostitute. Ha, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. You all say that. Come on. Come on. I think I need to get a bite if I really want to have a drink around. Hey! Come on. Like, seriously. I don't like your brother. He's so good. Shut up! It's my brother we're talking about here.
It's your fault, China. It's your fault, China. You don't want to come out, eh? I know you're hiding somewhere in here. Okay. You guys are going to provide the job for China. And if you don't, I'm going to count to three. Three. And if I don't see him, one, Two. Why are you delaying in presenting Nena to the temple? I was preoccupied today. But why the hurry? If one cannot achieve something in a day and he decides to postpone it to the next day, it's the same thing. What is important is the fact that the thing gets done at the end of the day. Ozi Chuku. Ozi Chuku. Your Highness. You are toying with the great Imagudu. You are toying with lava fire. Where is Nenna? I say, where is Nenna? <laughs> so you are hiding something. Somebody the great Imagudu has chosen for his presence. Oh, what a mistake. A grave mistake you are making. Now you've done your best. Imaguju will do the rest. such a beautiful building in the city. A lot of things we don't know about that in your sis. Come on, let's just go inside and see that there are all the surprises. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. Even the cars are going to use the cushion of the hotel. <laughs> dead. You do not have any business in the land of the living. <laughs> you and those that you could talk to you were done with me and my unborn child. You missed it. You think I will go down to the grave so that you will keep sacrificing my children one after the other. You missed it. You see this too? I dare you and those teach you the smallest hair of that skin. <laughs> you are ranting, woman. Ranting. Nobody, nobody can stop the great Imagudu from taking whatever he wants. Not you, woman. So get out of my way. 
over my already dead body. Then you are calling for it. There is a change. I am Amihe Nwokobia. He's the chief priest of Umba the land. <laughs> am Amihe, you better leave that place now before the elders find you and banish you from Umba the land. The chief priest indeed. The gods knew that this would come to pass. So you go and tell the elders. Umba this time for deliverance from the hands of the evil forces of darkness. What did you say is your name again? Raphael. Raphael. You said the man assisted you with some money. Yes. The money is not free. It was a loan with 10% interest on it. And uh, you invested the money in your business as you wanted it. And your business went down just like that. Yes, Didia. In fact, I lost everything. I regret ever going to him for assistance because rumors have it that anybody who goes to him for assistance ends up in a worse situation than he was before the assistance. He must be a very wicked man. That was what people said. You see, but if you see him, he doesn't look wicked because every time he is smiling, laughing and everything. So it's very difficult to suspect that he's wicked. He cannot be suspected and dictated. Yes. Hmm. Truly, the content of the true human heart can never be read on the face of the individual. You said you are not his only victim, are you? No, 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 Dibia. No, the elders. Some have fled the community because they don't have the money to pay back the loans. Talk less of the interest. Eh? Then some decided to forgo their businesses that have collapsed only to go and look for jobs elsewhere. So please, Dibia. The way I say the whole thing, this man must be very wicked. Please, I want you to help me and punish him. And he must be. He will be punished. Ingrid. Oh no, no, move. Okay, Hey! You! Be streaking with sores from your head to the toes. What? My God, what? 
Where is this coming from? You will no longer be able to do evil again. brother too. Where's mother? At a church. And if I his brothers at the morgue, right? I'll bury him today. No, no, so you will do no such thing. Everyone in this family has got to be involved in the ceremony. Okay? Look, besides, you're not the only surviving relative. <sighs> Has Dad been informed? You can inform him. It's not like he's going to care a bit. If I and I. I've always been our mother's care all those years. No, oh, oh, not so. I am so, so sorry. You've got to believe me, okay? I, I never knew things had gone that sour between dad and you guys. Each time I call from the States, all he tells me is that you guys are just giving him some hard times, that's all. It is because of what he does. I'd rather die than get myself involved in any cult activities. Please, no, so please, let's not go there. Please, stop. Um, I advise you put the fine's burial on hold while I speak to Dad and Afan and see how we can give my late brother a befitting burial, okay? How will it be fitting for Father abandoned us. Father hated us. And look, you and her family are not different. So how do you expect me to sit back and watch you guys plan for my brother's burial? To wait for the family to decide. What are you doing here, miles away from Mbede? I moved to the city with my younger sister, Ijemo. Hey! You guys ran away from your father, right? Oh, no, our father wanted us to live in Mbede, so he arranged for us to move to the city. Enough about me. So what about you? Are you here for supply or something? No. I live here now. Your uncle was after my life, so I had to think smart and, and just run away from Mbede. So what about your supermarket? Locked. 
I just hope they've not broken into that shop. Nena, your uncle is evil. That man is evil. Look at me now. You see that car? That's not my car. I'm just a driver to some, to some rude fellow. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Got no boys like that, okay? It's okay. Mm? Ah, so, where do you live? <laughs> just down the road. Hey, <laughs> Nena. Eh? Hey, I'm not this is here, so. I did it, boy. I did it, boy. Why did you do this to me? Look at my hand. Why did you do this to me? Why were you so wicked to those who believed in you? Those who look up to you as a benefactor. You are a very wicked man. Is that why you did this to me? Yes! Do you know who I am? I do not know you and do not care. The gods I know and they know me. You know the gods and the gods know you. Know me now. Know me. Good. In your next incarnation, you will never wish you met somebody like me. Idiot. I didn't know Yes, we shall get it. We shall get it right. Instead of the name of the name of the name of the name do you think that mental imbalance is an excuse for the gods to take it lightly with somebody who wants to defile the shrine? I'm a me here, I'm a me here. I'm a me here. I'm a me here. Please. This is the shrine of the gods. Who? Oh? It is. Are you mistaking it uh, for your dump site? Refuse dump site, which is your play playground. Please, come out. Who? Oh? Who? Oh? I'm a me here. Come out. Move out from there. Move! Or we move you with force. If I'm not sent by the gods. Let them strike me dead. They will strike you dead. They will strike you. Thank you. What are we even doing? Talking with a madman. Madman who is bent on destroying the shrine of Umbede. No. Eh? Let us join forces with Madabuchi and drag him out of this place. If you are not the ones that sent me with the sole purpose of delivering Umbede from the stronghold of dark forces, I can open this place to these kingmakers so that they will never doubt your ways again. Gods are ready to answer any question you have for them. Speak! Imaguju is becoming impatient with you, Ozeichuku. Where is the sacrifice? She must be presented today. Or else. Else what? You will kill me. 
please let Imagudu do whatever he pleases with me. But until then, get out of my way because I have better things to do other than sacrificing my whole family for a throne I am no longer sure of. Ozi Chuku. Ozi Chuku. Ozi Chuku. You dare challenge the great Imagudu. Can you get out of my way now? Out! How dare you! I'm no undertaker. Neither am I a grave digger. Okay? So you do what you're gonna do and leave me the hell out of it. That won't be difficult, okay? Come on, bro. It's your kid brother we're talking about here. If I the one you loved like crazy when, when he was a kid. Come on. Hey, come on. But he ain't no kid anymore. Is he? Oh, sorry. Like I said, he's dead. What? Yeah. Look, let me tell you. I can't really understand you don't have any stuff to take care of, but I tell you I got, okay? And I'm gonna run for it. Let his brother know so chuck him into the sand. You know? That's so how difficult can that be? Bro, 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 bro that's, that's the most unkind thing to say. It's your kid, brother. Ah, you can't say things like this. Please. Look, let me tell you. Just like I said, I've got a lot of things to do. I'm burying some poor girls and one of them. Okay? Can't be so difficult, I said it. You live with it. Deal with it. I promise that of you. Satisfied? Nimbo Martinet, one. not a joke. I mean, we were there. We saw with our eyes. Amamihe is the chief priest now. Amamihe? Uh, yes. Chief priest? Yes. <laughs> hey, Amamihe, chief priest. Tell me another joke. Okaome, this is a serious problem, not a laughing matter. Amamihe has been chosen by the gods. I think it is important that you should try and get him to our side. If you are still thinking about the throne of Umbade land. Yes. Are you people serious? Uh, the position of the chief priest of Great Umbade Shrine 
It's not a matter that calls for joke. It's not. From the way I see it now, <clears throat> you stand the best opportunity of ascending the throne of your fathers. If you can just make that move. I know that uh, Amamihe can be managed. If you understand what I'm saying. And you know, time is of great essence now. Whoever gets to Amamihe first, between you and Uzichuku, mm. has the chance of becoming the next Igwe. Ah, you, you are not talking. I'm thinking. I shall do exactly as you suggest. Good. Go and make the move. Make that move. Now, go to the shrine and see Amami here. He is still there. Knowing Marabuchi and Onyajulam the way I know them. <laughs> what we are telling you now is what they are telling Ozi Chupu. So, the first person that gets there takes it. Mm, I have a very strong feeling they'll be telling you Ozi Chupu the same thing. But I will beat him to it. Oh. I will go to the shrine. Beautiful. I will go there. Yeah. I will go there. Yeah, don't worry, I will see our mommy. <laughs> I, will, I will go there too. Uh -uh. Thank what, what's this? What's the meaning of this? Uh, the doctor says it's uh, allergy. There's nothing to worry about, just allergy. Allergy. Uh, well, you know, people who have money and stress, you know, that's, that's what it is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. I must tell you, Anna, your father has a very good taste. Thanks. Um, I miss him, though. Now my sister has gotten into school and I feel alone sometimes. I wish I could go home and visit him. Who is stopping you from going home? I mean, is there anybody stopping you from going to Mbede? My daughters, I want both of you to relocate to the city. Father. Let me finish. I have lost your mother and your brother. And I'm not prepared to lose any member of my family again. Not anymore. That's why I want both of you to relocate to the city for your own safety. You see, you are aware of the tussle between me and Akachuku concerning the royal stool. I don't want either of you to be caught in the middle of anything. That is why you must relocate for your own safety. But father, we don't know anyone in the city. You don't have to know anyone in the city. I will give you enough cash for you to engage an employment agency for any kind of help that you may need, be it domestic. Don't bother to call me. I will be calling you from time to time. <laughs> oh, come on, don't do that. Huh? Uh, stop crying. You're a big girl now. Big girls don't cry, okay? Uh, Onena, make sure you take care of my baby. Huh? Uh, make sure she attends the best school in the city. Take care of yourself. Um, in any case, I think you should even take enough cash with you from the bag without detection. Um, this is my ATM card. You know, use all the cash. And um, on this note, on that note, is the address of my property in the city as well as the pin number of the atm and the keys these are the keys to the main house and the main entrance and the master bedroom wardrobe top shelf you'll find the keys to all the cars within the premises don't you come with us, Father? Yeah, come on, now. <laughs> Not now, okay? But very soon. Nena, once again, take care of my baby, okay? I will, Daddy. One more thing. 
Um, when both of you are leaving the house, I don't want you to raise any suspicion at all. Not anyone. Not even the guards should know that you're leaving. Nobody. And when the dust settles, I will ask both of you to return to the village. Is that okay? Thank you, my dear. Job, 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 job. You are a big girl, I've told you. Huh? Are you okay? Yes, yes. Um, what would you like to have for lunch? <laughs> I thought we were just discussing about you going to Mbede. So, because I'm planning of going back there soon. Good for you. I would have loved to. But my sister's school will be on recess next week and I'll be around for her. You know, you. Are you sure that's the reason you don't want to go back? <laughs> of course. As much as I know. Unless you know my affairs better than I do. Besides, there's nothing to tell lies about, you know. I'm off to the kitchen. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. If you're not, oh. What are you cooking? Yes. Now, Mami here, what are you doing here? You don't shout in the board of the guards. You are here. <laughs> Pretending to be the chief priest. You know, a lot of people may be stupid and prefer to deal with you, but I am not one of these stupid people. I know that those of you who put you up to this it's nonsense, it's show of stupidity. I have money, much more than those of you who has, and I am ready to give you plenty of it. A lot of money, as much as you want for you to abandon this nonsense and take off that silly saffron material that you have got on you. You can lead a normal life like a human being. Akachuku, you are already on the wrong side with the guards. Mind your utterance in their domain. I see. So you are on the right side of the guards. You think you're the only person that the guards know. They also know me. I am saying come out of that place before I descend on you. You refuse to come out. You are being stubborn. All right. Now let us see who the gods favor here. Are you quite done with what you're doing? you to leave. If you don't, well, I am the mouthpiece of the gods. If you don't leave, I won't be responsible for what they are going to do to you.
Yes, my daughter. Come beside me. Come and sit here. I have a gist for you. I know you love gist. Uh, hmm. You behave like a child that you are. Come and sit beside me. Come. Come and sit down. I know what is in your heart now. Anyway, I don't blame you. If I were to be in your shoes, I would reason the way you're reasoning now. Come, little girl. Mother! Yes, I am your mother. Mother, you're dead. I'm dead, physically, but spiritually I'm alive because I did not die a natural death. But father said... Father said what? Father said what? Anyway, I know that she must have cooked up a story and tell you people. No problem. Father said he died along the way to the hospital. That he was caught up in the traffic. That was a lie. He took me to the coven instead of taking me to the hospital. He sacrificed me and my unborn son at the coven, just the way he sacrificed Chigozi. And you, Nena, is going to be the next person. Oh my God. Don't bother yourself. I'll be there for you. <laughs> no, children, I didn't mean to hurt you. I just want to unveil the things that is happening so that you will be away. I think I have to return to the village. Home? Oh? It's too late. But you can. Too late. What do you mean by too late? God. <laughs> Baby, stop crying. Stop crying, my dear. family because I have something to tell you. Mm. The greatest blessing that God can give to a man is a good wife and good children. God gave me the kitchen. That's my wife. A very good wife. Very caring wife. Very loving wife. But instead, instead, I I kept humiliating her. God blessed me abundantly. Gave me four sons. But instead of being grateful to God, I decided to follow the devil. Why? I joined the cult. I didn't know what I was looking for. And that tore my family apart. And so my son, the very loving son, he always wanted the best for me. Would want me to come home at the right time. He would want me to take him and his mother to church on Sundays. I neglected him. I ignored the mother. And 
had turned his mind against me. Even though I loved him so much, I couldn't show it. Ugo and Afam, I gave you the best that a father could give to his sons. I spoiled it by initiating you into the cult. It was a very big mistake on my part. Hmm. If only my son, I sacrificed if I to strengthen Afam, who, even though he was the first son, was weak. I sacrificed if I And now look what my family has become. I don't... I don't want you people to forgive me. No. I'm begging God to kill me and send me to hell. That, that is what I deserve. I want to go to hell. I'm born there because I had no reason to do everything that I did. I... Don't cry for me. Please don't cry for me. I know that the end is near. I am begging death to come. Come and kill me. I don't deserve to live a minute longer. I disappointed God. I disappointed my family. I want to die. Returning to the village. You are returning to Mbede. But I thought I you know, know what I said. Things change and people do change. I said one thing in the past and now I'm doing the opposite. That's me. I do what I believe that has to be done, okay? No more questions. Are you okay? Because you don't I stop. said no more questions. If you want to follow me to the village, <coughs> Please step aside. I'm in a hurry to get back to my father.
Where could he have gone to? When last did you speak to him? Three days ago. Three days ago. Um, he didn't mention anything about traveling on a trip or going somewhere. Something has happened to my father. Ah, don't start jumping to his conclusion yet. Okay? He's not in. Fine. There's nobody at home. Stop thinking negative. Father does not leave his house like this. He has over 10 guards in this house. I mean, father always moves in convoy. The guards are out there. None is missing. Oh my God, let nothing happen to my father. He's all I've got left in this world. Why don't we check the office? Office? Yes. He stopped going to his office before I traveled to the city with the Jama. It doesn't mean a thing. Maybe he got bored at home and decided to go to the office. Father asked her to show me some properties I want to invest in in the city. Prince Ozichuku allowed his daughter to escort a man to the city. Age of four. You, age of four. This is incredible. You can ask him when you see him. Please, Uncle, where is my father? I've been here for some time now and he's nowhere in sight. Do you know where he could be? I'd like to ask him a question. What? Uncle, what happened to my father? Uncle, what happened to my father? Uh, Nina, it came to us as a root shock. <laughs> Uncle, don't tell me that the only man, the only parent I have as a father is dead. Uncle, don't tell me that. Uncle, where is no, my wait, father? Wait, wait, Uncle, wait, 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 Uncle wait, where is my hey, father? Hey, 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 take it. Take it easy. Oh, oh, oh. Take it easy. Oh, go away, Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 what am I going to tell you, John? What am I going to tell you? Hello, I don't know why I'm going to tell you. <laughs>
wise one. The gods of Mwede have systematically resolved this dispute that has been setting this town back for a while now. And you will agree with me that Mwede needs a fresh start. Yes. And now that my father is dead, as well as Prince Uzichuku, the next person in line for the throne is me. The gods will be the judge of who becomes the next Igwe of Umbede. The gods? Now you listen to me, you relic of the ancient. I am not begging you. I am saying that I am the next king of Umbede. And you better do your job and crown me the next king. The gods will crown the chosen one. And at their own time. I will advise you to wait on the gods. I'll do no such thing. I'll do no such thing. Look, if you don't want to do what is right, well, it is your funeral. Afami is not a waiting kind. Are you listening to me? I am going to wait for nobody. If you don't want to crown me the next Igwe, well, I believe I'm going to help myself out with the throne and the crown. I will advise against such thing. No one is going to stop me. Listen, I've lived all my life to be the king of Mwedeland. And you, you can stop me. The kingmakers, they cannot stop me. Not even the gods can stop me. I strongly advise against it. You're still advising against it. Well, um, I think I will see you around. Yes. You know where the palace is? If you really need to see me, you come to the palace. Okay? Okay? Hey, Pancho! Where are you going? I'm sorry I cannot be part of this. What do you mean you cannot be part of this? I cannot go with you to the palace. My boss, your father said that place is haunted. And that is why he didn't take the throne by force. And uh, I'm, I'm afraid of ghosts. I'm sorry, my prince. Hey, I don't even need you. Who needs you? Listen, wise one. I can sense this conspiracy. But I'm telling you, I must take that throne by force if I must see you around. The wise man listens to wise counsel. But the fool is propelled by his foolishness. Destruction awaiting him at the end. The irony of life. Oh, dear. At the end of the day, the city is still vacant. Mm. Akachuku, Ozichuku, where mm. are they today? That is why they say, man proposes, but God, God disposes. Mm. This is a life. great lesson for all of us. Exactly. Mm. Big all lesson. All of us. All of us.
Jesus can it be? How is it can it be? So elders of the land, let the deliberation commence. What you are doing is offensive before the gods. You don't know what you are talking about. Now, are you going to do what is expected of you and cause me to be coronated tomorrow morning? You cannot coerce the gods into making you the anointed. <laughs> I don't have to. Because the gods know that I am the next in line. So they cannot deny me my birthright. So be it. If the throne is your birthright, nothing would happen to you by the time I get to the entrance of the palace. Bring it on. Come on. I think the gods will prove it to you that once and for all that I am the... Who the gods have earmarked for destruction? First of all, lose every sense of reasoning. Abel! Abel! Hey! I catch you. So, this is the end. Hey. After all the fightings, after all the schemings, after all the intrigues, everything has amounted to nothing. Just nothing. You see? Like, was it true? Where is it today? After all the struggle, fighting, the city is still empty. Nothing. Mm. Ah, vanity. Such is life. That is why they say no condition is permanent. permanent. Oh. The ways of our gods are not like the ways of men. Mm. No one can change their course. I warned him. I warned him. Wise one. What next, somebody? Eh? What next? The Igwe elect is on his way. Huh? I'm under Igwe. Behold the Igwe of Umbo the land. You are the elect of the gods. So go and get ready for your coronation. Me? Yes, you. The ways of the gods are not like the ways of men. They do not make mistakes. Since then, Zorin family has abdicated the royal throne. The gods have retrieved it from the family and chosen you to become the Igwe of Umbu the land. So go and get ready for your coronation. A hey, Jofo, the Igwe? Yes, <laughs> yes. The ways of the gods are not the way of men. Igwe! Maedas, Maedas. Igwe! Igwe! Maedas.
Fire, 